Hey guys, finally sleeps here. Team of the season released today and it's confusing. Like crazy out there. Just it's like it's it, you start looking at it and you're going, oh, this isn't this isn't this bad. Now, wait a minute. There's there's how many different kinds of currency? Uh, what do we do? It's. It's like watching an episode of the Kardashians and trying to figure out how are these people famous and rich and like why it's it's a it's mind boggling to say the least. So we got live on Twitch today after reset started running the numbers with the stream and it became so overwhelming and so confusing trying to make sure we were running all the loopholes and little intricacies with the numbers so you know what can we do here what do we if we push the numbers there and we we put together what we thought was going to be the the best free to play opportunity for everybody uh, after the stream went back started to dig into it deeper and think well what if we do this what if we do that where, where are we missing a number here? What milestone did we forget? That kind of thing. Went through, ran it, double-checked it. Here it is complete. All of the numbers. I'm going to explain the whole thing and give you the breakdown in, in what I'm now seeing as possible free-to-play. Then take a look at what you can get with the pass. So uh, before we dig into it, though, make sure you like, subscribe, Turn on notifications, all that stuff here at YouTube so you don't miss any of these videos when they go live. Then um, make sure you follow along on finallyhesleeps.com. Uh, check out the Discord server, Twitch, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff uh, so you never miss anything. All right, it's time to run the math. Okay, so let's get into it and actually take a look at the game itself. So we've got TOTS. This is how it starts out. Uh, you, you have the opening thing, the main event where you have the skill games and we have energy that you can watch. There's coin offers and stuff. So the first round of numbers, we'll just put a background behind this so you can actually see it. Okay, if we run the ads to begin with, there's three daily ads. Uh, you get four energy per one. That's 12 per day times 49 days, 588 energy plus the coin packs. Uh, you started out with 18 energy today, 24 hours in a day because they refresh on it. You put it all together, you subtract one because you can't refresh the last hour. That's 2,453 energy. That is the max energy that you're going to have to deal with, which we're going to use for these skill games. Now, there's three skill games per day. 12 energy is what is required to run through them one time. Uh, you get a first set of rewards when you play through of 25 team of the season tickets, which are kind of generic currency that work in any league. They work across all leagues and 25 points for the specific league you're in for each week for round one through six. So each of the leagues, uh, you know, community, EPL, La Liga, Bundesliga, Serie A and League One. That's what you get. You get 25 league tokens every time you, you play one of the skill games. The week seven reward, since you're not in a league, you're in ultimate, you get 10 team of the season tickets in exchange as the bonus. So 25 the first time you play it plus the 10. Then on the replays, you get the 10. Starting to, to see how convoluted this is and how ugh, just confusing but we're gonna break it down don't worry so like week one through seven uh you're gonna play you know so you get 75 every day uh for those first three rounds so that is a total of 3,665 or 75 team of the season tickets now those are the important ones because those are generic that can be used across any league then each week uh you're gonna get somewhere between 1875 community points and 2175 uh, league points for whatever league it is uh, for EPL, La Liga, Bundesliga, and Serie A. And the reason this is, I have this set up this way, is because we're going to hoard our points for whatever week you want to use it. Now, me, 
I'm going all in on EPL. You're going to have to pick a week and go all in. And then I hoard my numbers in League One week. League One? I misspelled it. League One, I'm hoarding, hoarding my numbers there as well because in that final week, seven, you're getting Team of the Season tickets instead of League tickets. So unless you're going for League One players... Uh, you're going to want to hoard that last week and only do exactly what you have to do to get the milestones. We'll get into that in a second. So for me, community week, I go minimum. I hoard all my points to get it over into EPL. What, and what I mean by that is at the very end of the week, uh, I don't use any of my cash or my coin packs until day seven of week one. And right before reset, I'll have my, my energy full and then I'll buy all of the the refresh by all of the coin packs to move them on to the next one. So those are the numbers that we have just from playing the skill games based on someone who wants EPL. Now, if you want La Liga, your week two is the week where you're going to short it just to get enough and use all of your coin packs on the last day. So here, let's, let's take a look at an actual week. So for me, community, uh, on day one, I started with 18 energy. I have 24 in a day, and I'm going to watch the ads. So it's 54 in day one. Then day two, just 36, 36, 36. And then on day seven, I'm going to hold it at 18 hours and only watch enough ads and open enough coin packs to make sure I get 300 energy used in week one to be able to earn the first milestone. Those milestones are important. You have to use at least 300 energy per week because you want the, the milestone for 100 energy and you want the milestone for 300 energy. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to leave me 66 to carry over for week two. Okay, so now before we go to week two, let's just take a look at this. I'll show you what I'm talking about with the milestones. So right here, you've got milestones. So every week, you want to be able to do the 100 energy, which is obvious. That's going to be an easy one to get the TOTS token. And then the 300 energy because it's good for 300 tickets. Those are definitely going to come into play. And remember, the tickets are the most important currency because they can be used on any league, not just the week you're earning. Make sense? All right, so now if we go back to this and we take a look at week two. Now, this is the EPL week. This is my, my focus week for me. So I've got 65 to carry over, 24 and 12 for day one. That gives me 101 on day one. So 101, 103 skill games for the entire week because it takes four energy per skill game. 103 skill games. The first 21, which is three per day times seven days, give me just a bonus. Then all those additional, I'm getting EPL tickets for my secondary plays through on the skill games. That's why you want to hoard your energy for the week that you need without screwing up any of the milestones. So then week three goes back. Now, this is the same thing. The week for La Liga, I'm just using everything to grab my La Liga. So it's 87 skill games. I use all the coin packs on whatever day I want to use them just so that I can make sure I complete all the milestones and work my way through. Same way for week four and week five. Now week six, unless you're a league one guy, week six is where I'm preparing to stockpile for the ultimate week because in the ultimate week, we get team of the season tickets, which I can use for the league that I actually want them on. So this week I'm doing a little bit different. As long as I get my 300 milestone, I'm going to hold everything over so I can carry over 48 energy for 12 extra rounds of skill games in the ultimate week. I told you this is so confusing, guys. Now in the last week, I'm going to be able to play 99 skill games instead of the 87, which is going to give me an extra amount of team of the season tickets. That's why this week is more important for me because I really want those team of the season tickets for the EPL week. All right, so now if we move on to the league specials matches, uh, these are the matches that you play um, right here. If we click the tap to enter on the league specials, these are the matches. Here, we'll turn this off and let you see what I'm actually talking about. Okay, so now on the league specials, this will change every week. Now for here, what you do is you build a team that you can use. You get bonus for having icon players in. I've got three icons in across, which is just... Uh, Gullet, Beckham, and um, KK, the icon 
strike icon strike milestone player whatever it is a lot of people have um, him or Owen or who was it the other one hero so I got those three that gives me the icon bonus now for the EFL and community player bonus for this week you definitely have to have those players in your squad and it is not just any EFL player or any community player they need to be team of the season players but they're all auctionable so if you just wait till past day one you should be able to buy these use them for the week and sell them back now, here is where the numbers become important. You can watch ads for this. There are ads in coin packs as well to play the energy. You're going to want to do this every single day. I suggest you use Versus because it's the best set of rewards. You're, you're looking at uh, 20 for a draw, 30 for a win, and 10 for a loss, plus your bonus. So right now, without any players in my squad, I'm still getting 60 on a win. But... If you have a full team set up for this, which you need to, to maximize your bonus, you're going to get 200 for a win, 190 for a draw, and 180 for a loss. That's what is important, is the bonus. Okay, so let's take a look at the numbers for this one too. So for the league specials, you start with 24 energy, it refreshes on 24 hours. There's the ads and the coin packs, which is a grand total of 362 for week one because you already started with 24 and 338 energy per week after so full bonus is going to get you the 200 that's what we're talking about you just have to buy the players in the market it's not going to be that expensive and if you're not using them you can sell them back plus you can you're going to earn players as you play the game and you go through the path we'll get to that in a minute so you're going to play somewhere around 72 matches in week one and then 67 matches each week after now, I did this on the low end with a win-lose-draw ratio of 1 to 1 to 1. So you win one, you lose one, you draw one. You win one, you lose one, you draw one. Uh, that gives you a total points if you have bonus in that 22 to 22 to 23 ratio for all weeks but one of 12,730. That should get you at least 100 Team of the Season tickets and 200 League points per week because there are two bonus resets. This resets, it's it's uh, Thursday to Monday, Monday to Thursday. So there's two league reward bonuses per week. Uh, and then it, there's only one milestone reward in this for the league specials. Uh, those, you're going to end up with 950 league points um, if you get through milestone 8 per week and 100 team of the season tickets through milestone 6. Now... It is possible, if you're pretty strong with this, to make your way all the way through the milestones down to the extra 200 tickets. It requires 15,000 points. So if you're really strong, you win a lot of games, or if you hoard your energy and be able to get this in with a full bonus, uh, there's also the bonuses that you can claim here. These You can buy bonus for gems, or not gems, it's this thing, uh, the... Tots special bonus that you can get daily in the, the login pack that you open up. Um, or you can have a bonus that you can pay gems for. These give you an extra 50 per day, and it's for one day only, so you maximize your energy if you're going to get one of those. There is a possibility of reaching all the way to the 200 tickets. Uh, reaching here to the Milestone 10 is definitely doable, especially if you're considering you're going to get over 12,000 with a full team of chemistry. Uh, if if you don't buy the full team, if you don't maximize your bonus, you at least need to get here to the league's 500 point bonus at 4,000 points, which really isn't that hard to do. If you're playing 67 matches and you only need 4,000 points, you can pretty much get away with about 100 points per round. And with just icons, you're looking at 60 for a win. So as long as you have a few EFL players or uh, community player bonuses in there, if you have a little bit of a bonus, you're going to be fine just, just to be able to get it. So you at least need 100 points. 200 is much better for the win moving forward on this stuff. All right, so if we look at the next thing, the league pass. There, We have the TOTS pass and the league pass. The TOTS Pass is 
a free option in here. You, there's, you have to buy 3,000 FIFA points for the big TOTS Pass, but there is a free TOTS Pass. The rewards there are 500 TOTS tickets, 400 uh, tickets for each of the different leagues, um, TOTS tokens, which we'll talk about in a second, and then 50 ultimate points. Now, each week you have a league pass that there are some rewards in there as well. Now, we're gonna, I'm not going to tell you to buy the league passes. I don't think it's worth it in the long run of the event. But just the free league pass is going to give you 450 league points for each week. And then in the final week of Team of the Season, or for Ultimate, we don't know if you're going to get an additional 200 Team of the Season tickets. Uh, so it could be 1,200 Team of the Season tickets across those league passes or 1,400. And there could be some ultimate points in that last week as well. We're just not sure. Here, I'll take uh, show you what those two league passes actually look like. They're on the main side of this through your main menu. There it is, the Team of the Season pass. So this pass, the top row is achievable without spending any coins. That's where all of those bonuses are. The Community Pass that you're going to be able to play one match per day. This is where the bonus comes in. 200 community points, 200 if you bought the pass. TOTS tickets, 200, 200 if you bought the pass. And 250 and 250 and an extra player. Those are going to be available. These these are only available. The skill boost um, SBCs are only available if you open the weekly pass. And these rewards at the bottom two are not accessible without the pass. And because this is a free-to-play breakdown, we're not going to get into those. But each week, this is going to reset. You're going to want to make sure you do these each and every day just to earn those calculations and those rewards that we just talked about. The TOTS pass and the leagues pass. That's the numbers. Now, like that 1,400 TOTS tickets with the question marks, what I'm talking about there is you get 200 per week for the first six weeks. We're not 100% sure what that ultimate week is going to look like. So we're pretty much guessing across the board on that one. All right. Milestone reserves. This is the last two sections. There are a lot of different milestones that we can complete. There are daily quests that unlock things in the past, but there are also uh, milestones for using energy, milestones for spending um, 4,000 points in any league, and using reserves. Those work together. We're going to take a look at this real quick. I'll show you the numbers, and then I'm going to explain them. You're going to get all of the milestones using this method. You're not going to miss anything. The weekly energy milestone, we already talked about that. You're going to need to use 300 energy every single week because it's good for 2,100 Team of the Season tickets, and you're going to get 700 Team of the Season tokens by grabbing 100 every single week. League milestones, now this is if you spend 4,000 points in every league, it gives you an additional 3,000 Team of the Season tickets across the entire event, and you're going to spend 4,000 points in every single league. Trust me, I'll show you that here in a second. Reserves, extra tickets. Now these, it's every league has a reserves. We'll, we'll look at that in a second. If you pull five times from every league, it's good for 3,000 team of the season tickets. We're going to do it. I'll show you how. Uh, the reserves, which is the, the actual wheel that we're going to look at next. Uh, there are daily logins, um, league special awards, and milestones. It's going to end up being a ton. That is 3,325 TOTS tokens total that you're gonna earn so all of these milestones are available. And here's where it comes from. 1,225 from daily logins because you get 25 every day when you log in. In the league specials rewards that we just looked at, there is 100 every week, so that's 700 from there. Weekly milestones, you get 100 every week matching the, the weekly milestones, so that's 700. And in each of the league paths, we're gonna end up getting 100 from every league path. That's where the numbers come together. And if there are six weeks, times 500, that's 3,000, and you're going to get 3,325, and probably more once we actually look at the the leagues. So those milestones are available and accessible. And here, let's take a look at it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. In TOTS, main menu, those are the milestones that we already talked about, the extra tickets. But once you move on to the reserves, this is the wheel of players. Now, this is something that I love because once you claim a player, a reserve pops in here. You can hoard it and use all of them in one league, 
but you're gonna miss out on these bonuses. Spin the wheel five times for a league, you get 500 Team of the Season tickets. And remember, Team of the Season tickets are the most important currency in this whole event. So we're gonna wanna spin it five times every single league. And we can do that, I just showed you the numbers. These open up each week for the new league. Don't blow it all in one spot. Wait until you get your bonus from each week, and then you can come back and do extra on any of it is. You're not going to earn any of these community reserve, like the, you know, on your eighth poll, you guaranteed a player. You're not going to be able to get any of that the way we're doing it, and except for one league you can do it because you're going to have an additional three that you can throw back into one league. Now, in the league path itself like right now we only have community unlocked but in community there are also milestones here if you spend 4,000 tickets uh, 4,000 um, league points you can earn an additional 500 tickets we are going to earn that every single league again I'll show you the numbers but we're going to spend 4,000 in each each league all across the board all the way up until ultimate now the one league that you choose you're going to earn the 98 event icon. Personally, I, like I said before, I'm going for Premier League. So I will earn the 98 event icon from Premier League because I will be spending a hell of a lot more than 11,000 points on that league. Now, the way this works is the same as everything in the past. We've got a path that we run down. And then once you get to one of the players, you can move up and then you can grab coins, boost, and the, the starter. The starters come pre-ranked, so don't forget to lose that you, you move the ranks over to your weekend tournament team or however that's going to work they also give out ultimate points the 94s both give out 20 the 96s give out 35 the 97s give out 85 the 99s give out 135 the hundreds are 180 i believe 180 and then the 101 is 250 if you can make it to the the 101 now, everybody wants to know, how far can you make it free to play in your league? So if we look at each individual league, following this path and all of the numbers that I've shown you already, you're going to end up with 3,975 community points. You're going to have to use some tickets to be able to grab that milestone for the 4,000 points. Uh, that's going to be able to give. That's going to allow you to claim two ninety fours in community. That's going to give you forty ultimate points. So you want to go to the to the ninety fours and grab both players. Then EPL because we're going to hoard money for there. For me, going Premier League, I'm going to have a total of eighteen thousand four hundred and ninety, which will allow me to grab a ninety four, a ninety six, and a ninety nine for a grand total of one hundred and ninety ultimate points. Then again, we need to spend 4,000 for each of the individual leagues moving forward. So La Liga, I'll grab 294s, Bundesliga 294s, Serie A 294s, and League One 294s as well. That is gonna give me a grand total of 490 ultimate points because during the last week, there is a squad building challenge that also gives 50 ultimate points. 490 ultimate points is going to give you some serious rewards uh, let's take a look at the rewards in the ultimate pass. A starter is 400. So with 490, we're going to grab a starter. There is hidden rewards here as well. Um, as far as what else is available, you can either grab one 102 for 400 or three 98s for 450. Uh, this is only possible at one it shows that there's only one available but i think you can you can should be able to grab more than that i don't know if we're, it's going to unlock additional down through here or what but we should be able to grab at least one 102 and uh or 398s what makes me nervous though is that purchased zero of one but i think this is going to shift once ultimates are released right now this is just a a placeholder for what we've got but using this Math breakdown, you should have 490 ultimate points, which is plenty to grab a 102. And then you can sell the 102, do whatever you want. And remember, all this stuff is auctionable right now. We're not sure if the ultimates are going to be auctionable at release, but everything else, all the other starters are auctionable, which is how we are putting together. See, this is how we're putting together the teams to be able to play 
the the specials, the the versus the head to head in the AI matches to be able to get it. So now, if you decide to come back and buy the pass, the three thousand point FIFA point big tots pass is the only one that I would possibly recommend. Uh, that gives you the bottom row of rewards. It's going to give you an additional 2,000 Team of the Season tickets, additional 1,000 TOTS tokens, which are going to give you extra players and more uh, resources and stuff by the reserve wheels. You'll get 2,000 additional points for every league and 100 ultimate points on top of everything else. So here's what my suggestion is as far as running this. If you spend 3,000 FIFA points... Uh, and maximize everything, you're going to be able to grab two 94s in community, a 100 in Premier League or your league of choice, just one 100. Then in everything else, you'll get a 94 and a 96, and then two 94s in League One. And you can shift that around whatever the leagues are going to, whatever's going to work out best for you. But two of the leagues, you're going to have the 94s, and then the other ones, you'll have 94 and 96. That brings your ultimate number up to 625. So for 625, you can easily grab a 400 starter and a 98, which is 400, 550, and you'll have 75 left over. It is extremely likely that EA will release an additional method of grabbing ultimate tokens, whether it be some kind of a, a reward towards the end or they'll be purchasable with gems, something. Buying that pass could make a huge difference in the way you go about this entire event. It's 3,000 FIFA points, though, and this is a free-to-play, so it's kind of up to you whether or not you think, think it's worth it. I mean, it's a lot more resources, um, you're going to get back, I don't know, it's, I mean, we got about five months left in the season, so is it worth spending the 3,000 FIFA points? That is entirely up to you. The only bad thing about the pass is it, there's no option to be able to use, um, gems for it, as far as that goes. Uh, there's also stuff in the store, there's some different packs in the store you can buy, there's stuff you can use for gems in there, uh, it's, it's just... It's a big, it is a confusing, it is a very mixed event. There is a lot of stuff going on. Uh, there's squad building challenges on top of everything. Uh, the You've got passes and, uh, you know, weekly currency that you can only use in this week. And then you have to figure out if you're going to use tickets for this week or, you know, and, and you cannot hold and try to wait till the very end to come back and claim everything because it's you've got to definitely map this out and plan ahead. It's, a, it's an exciting event. Uh, so, do I really feel like it's it's a, a good event or a bad event? I, I'm excited. Uh, there are a ton of resources. You're going to claim a ton of stuff. Um, a, anybody completely 100% free to play who's not uh, above buying players in the market to build the team to run the community or the, the weekly league um, versus matches or head-to-head -head matches, as long as you grab your bonus there, you'll be able to claim it's it's a, a bunch of 94s, a bunch of 96s, a, a 100 OVR if you buy the pass, or a 99 OVR if you don't, and... Uh, 98 event icon for the league that you want to go to through the milestone and you're going to grab an ultimate 102 starter all of that completely possible free to play 102 starter free to play thank god I went back through and re-ran these numbers and tried to find all the little loopholes because thinking that a 99 was the best possible kind of sucked this afternoon but a 102 starter ultimate starter it's definitely kind of turned the entire thing around. All right. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me. Make sure you check out all the links. Um, the Discord server, the first one is Ruben and I's Discord server for Twitch streaming. And you can talk to everybody there. We have our own channels for all of our subs and site members. The second Discord server is the Big Foot Mobile Reddit server. The whole community that's everything there. Event math gets posted there as well as market chat and everything. 
Um, plus, you can always talk to, to Ruben and I, either of those places. Don't forget the podcast and all of the links below. Come watch me on Twitch. Uh, we go live 30 minutes before reset, like five days a week. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me. As long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making videos.